Vandalism in the wilderness. And that used to be the beautiful Gordon River Gorge. Even down there there's junk. And we can walk down the steps, have a ride back up the I can hear it leaking. We've got the whole place to ourselves. Well, it must have been a spectacular gorge. There's the bottom. Some brave souls run down this, way down the bottom. See it bowed back under, underneath us, like a giant eggshell. The sun's just going to peek through. Now we've got 165 kilometers back to 
our tent. So that'll be some time tonight. This is Serpentine Dam, which they need to break and drain Lake Petter here into the Serpentine River to restore Lake Petter. And it's only made of earth and rock gravel, river gravels and mud and clay. To your right. Oh, it's up by seven, heading back to Medina. Here's a panorama of the hills in the distance. The odd power line. A tent site view, packing up to go to Rooney Island to the double decker ferry to Kettering, going across to Rooney Island. Feed the ducks there, darling. No, look, orange peel. You don't like orange peel. Okay. They're surrounded. We're camped, this is Adventure Bay, and we're camped over there. It's Fluted Cape at the top, and we're behind that little peninsula there. And that's where Captain Bly dug a trench in the sand and pulled the bounty up to do a few running repairs about eight months before the mutiny. And the other caravan park is just here. It's mainly vans and stuff in a straight long spot. They take tents, the other one where we are wouldn't take tents. We've climbed up Coolangatta Road to the highest point on Bruni Island and we'll leave that highest point for another day because 
we're just below the cloud now and you can't see very much we're looking south down to Cloudy Bay and the mist is doomed Do you want me to point it out? No, they're oh. looking straight down, straight down, down there. Down there. The local accommodation you can rent. Got the key? You got the key? Yeah. There's the I have to put my frog, frog pond. Hello, frog. The new automated one is solar powered, of course. She goes up the hill. Sixty-eight point nine K from Hobart. It's a lovely Tasmanian day. So the sun comes out for a bit. You get a shot of these fluted capes, all the volcanics. Comes our guide. Guide. Portuguese name is the ta now, here you go. In, in Tassie schools, we're always taught that Abel Tasman, the Dutchman, was the first European mm -hmm. to come out here. Anyway, actually beat him, didn't they? the Portuguese beat him by 100 years, and yeah. on this latest book about the Chinese, even beat them yeah. the Portuguese by 100 years. Yeah. 1421. Yeah, that's amazing. This is Tasman, oh, right. which is over near here. Uh, Swan Island was called Malta, this is affectionate terms. And that cycle was called the Rock. There was no name for the iron pot because it wasn't a, uh, a major landfall yeah. in, in the end. And Tasman was called Albatraz, oh, right. for obvious reasons. Yeah. But to us, 
it's more latter day keepers, it would have been more like Albatross of the Iron Pot because you can yeah. see Hobart, but you can yeah. never get there. Yeah. Mm. Not the keeper anyway. Yeah. Yeah. This one here is twice less in height to give you some perspective, right, okay. and it's cast iron rings bolted together. Ah. 45, 50 knots, you start to get shudder in the tower yeah. to the point where if it's really bad and squally, it would stall, the stu structure would stall and disintegrate the kerosene mantle. So you'd always have another one blown because your standing order says if your light was out for more than five minutes, you'd have to let camera know. Right. Yeah. Stuff like that camera. Yeah. Less a person. Fucking dare. Put it that way. Comes in and starts mucking around with it at night. You don't want someone out to see you seeing it. So, but about a week later, I thought, well, I don't work for the feds anymore. Yeah. And if I'm showing someone through, if I get someone that speaks very little English, a picture's worth a thousand words. Right. Like, so yeah. it just turns the thing on. Yeah. So I'll reward it. But, right. And now yeah. we still run it. We'll still run it over yeah. New Year's Eve. Right. And I'll still drop the curtains to sleep, but I don't yeah. have a problem with answer. Yeah. Fantastic. Because yeah. what are they going to do? And as it is, the character of this is the same as the character of the automatic one, one right. out of ten. Right. So, I mean, I don't yeah. mean to be so just turn the other one off? <laughs> no, I just, no, just, I just run let it run for 10, 15 yeah. minutes. No. The people over yeah. in Southport, over the yeah. channel, they yeah, get wrapped because. For years they had built around the beaches and everyone looks yeah, across to there like they must the do it now. Or yeah. 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 Now with the automatic over there, this tower is in the road. Yeah. They can't see it. Yeah. And did they kick up about it? Yeah. So whenever I fire this on, I'll give an official note there about it. Yeah. If it was blowing outside, we'd have trouble hearing it here. And then have about 40 knots and we wouldn't be able to hear yeah. just a general yeah. din. It doesn't affect the light though. Oh, no, no. Yeah. It's not with the keepers, it's with the wives and kids. Right. Because I've got a woman and my duty's the same, but society's different in these yeah. days. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. Camera, but yeah. You've got your lighthouse tear in a go, your beams out rotating, the ones that come into the window bending. <laughs> right. <laughs> light doesn't bend in the other way. That's so. <laughs> yes. The wind stopped, has it? And this is um, Quartz Island Quartz? where the kids used to um, Can't have done yet. Rush mm. across it low and pretty well yeah. on Mutton Bird. Is there are a few right. eggs that have been Mutton Bird's have only been back a few weeks with the shear water. Yeah. yeah. Feeding like that and dispersing coming here again. So what are they doing? They're, they're feeding on little. They're actually in the water. Flying around. And where they're all dense is where they're just feeding all the mass on the water as they just fly. Birds and they were all over the place and, they and when they into things. We used to do um, bird counts in the morning. Yeah. If somebody hit the light of a night. Yeah. When the yeah. whole lights were going, yeah. they just run straight into it. Yeah. Well, I don't think they're, they're This is, this is how he cleans the, the glass I'll windows. Let you, I'll let you he tell puts me. puts a foot up on there and then you do a mantel shelf. Yeah. I went in and out of the other, yes, but I never get enough time to even finish, so I just keep going. Oh, yeah, definitely, yes, and we really enjoy the live commentary. It was a fantastic experience of a private guided tour like by an enthusiastic enthusiast. lighthouse keeper. Lots of problems with litigation and people falling off cliffs and putting on fences and railings and warning signs. It's incredible. The bushfire was so amazing. There's a big bushfire through here several years ago. Three years. Three years and it came up. Burned all around the, the automatic lighthouse which is just over there and stopped within inches of being through the cabling.
jetty beach. And they had a jetty and they brought supplies and everything up to the lighthouse for 130 years before they had the road built. Well, we're down at Cloudy Bay, we'll drive back over those hills there and just having a look at this lovely little beach lagoon near the Pines camping ground some free camping and you can go surfing here a big surf beach Just standing on the roof of Smoky. The sun's gone again. Drive down there for a cup of coffee. So if he goes looking for another little beach. Nice sort of walk around the, the neighbouring little stony beach. A couple of spits of rain coming. This is probably a little penguin watching area. Yeah. And you can hear cheeping. There's cheeping there. noises I can't hear cheeping in noises. the bushes. And there's lots of little burrows around for the penguins. It's going to rain here in a second. He's hiding. He He's going to dig into the sand. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the echidna. I don't think he's going to move.
cemetery point looking across to the mainland to the west. Meanwhile, back up at the slope from the cemetery, this is their front yard. Yeah, I'm not getting it. 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 I'm not getting it